people have high expectations from the judge. He is expected to be independent. The independence of all judges who run courts is described as independence of judiciary. These people need to be independent. If the judiciary is not independent, it will not be able to resolve disputes involving the government and citizens. It will not be able to treat all people equally. Let us say the government runs the judiciary. In that case, the court will treat powerful politicians differently. It will try to please the government by giving judgments favorable to powerful people. That would lead to injustice. Injustice would reign supreme in the country. Thankfully, our judicial system is independent. It is able to take decisions in a fair and impartial manner because of its independence. Your Honor, the project will reduce the travel time between the two villages by an hour at least. That will help the employees reach their offices quicker. The flyover should be constructed as it is a government order. Dear Petitioner and Defendant, In this case, I must follow the due process of law. This includes the right to equality. All citizens are equal before the law. The right to life conferred by Article 21 should be reiterated. Article 21 says, No person shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to a procedure established by law. But courts have interpreted this article in many ways over the years. The courts have attached many meanings to Article 21. They have bestowed the right to livelihood and the right to drinking water to the citizens of India under this article. If any act of the government hurts your right to live a decent life, you can claim your rights under Article 21. Your Honor, this is a government-approved project. Enough. I have heard and understood the facts of this case thoroughly. Although this is a government-approved project, it violates the fundamental rights of many people. And if you've forgotten, let me remind you what the judiciary does. Broadly speaking, the work that the judiciary does can be divided into the following. Dispute resolution, upholding the law and enforcing fundamental rights, and judicial review. It resolves disputes between two citizens. It is supposed to step in when there is a dispute between a citizen and the government. The court delivers a verdict when there is a dispute between two different state governments. Courts uphold the law and enforce fundamental rights of citizens. Any citizen, like Ms. Shruti, can approach the court if they believe that their fundamental rights are being violated. If they feel that someone else's fundamental rights are being violated, they can file a PIL. As the final interpreter of the Constitution, the judiciary has the power to strike particular laws passed by the government if it believes that these are a violation of the basic structure of the constitution. In this case of petitioner versus government, the government has to relocate the construction of the flyover to a distance away from the slums. This way, it will help reduce commuting times provide jobs for the poor and also retain their source of income. This is called Judicial Review. Your Honor, with all due respect, this project was passed by the ruling party in the parliament and was approved by the executive. In this case of petitioner versus government, the government has to relocate the construction of the flyover to a distance away from the slums. This way, it will help reduce commuting times, 
provide jobs for the poor and also retain their source of income. This court has the right to re-examine the decisions of the government as part of the judiciary's right to review government's decisions. In other words, the government's decision has failed to pass the judicial review process. The court orders the government to change the location of the flyover and spare the slum dwellers. Olga Telles versus Bombay Municipal Corporation was a case where the judiciary ruled that right to livelihood is a part of right to life. The court said that the right to life is not restricted to mere existence. In fact, the court used the phrase animal existence. Since no person can lead a decent life without a source of income, the court included the right to livelihood under Article 21. The court argued that eviction of slum dwellers from slums and pavements would lead to deprivation of their life. Public interest litigation or PIL mechanism allows a person or an organization to file a case in court on behalf of those whose rights are violated. A PIL can be filed in the High Court or the Supreme Court of India. The judiciary in India is an independent body. The government does not interfere in its working. Dispute resolution, judicial review, upholding the law and enforcing fundamental rights are key tasks of the judiciary. The judiciary has the right to examine the decisions of the government and cancel it if it violates the rights of people. This process is called judicial review. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.